so from today i am starting this so first topic which we are going to see in uh, answer automation is knowing about entity so whatever uh, we see as a geometry uh, in answers gui uh, which i will go there. Uh, i have a model opened in my answer window so whatever i see in this gui is an entity uh, yes a line a face or a property and material everything is an entity i can uh, access them uh, here you can see a hard point con face surface curve point axillaries even that can be accessible but i am sure about all the others axillaries i am not so sure so even we can uh, these are also entities measurements this one is an entity okay so we can get all the details of the entity um, by knowing uh, the power of entity function first go to the slide okay and uh, if you know the entity entity is sometimes container pid that means uh, property uh, if you take a property then you can find n number of faces and n number of elements and uh, n number of grids so if i take a p, uh, p shell then it contains these many details so uh, the p shell which is uh, property is a higher level than uh, whatever it uh, the content of it so uh, an entity can be a container and that uh, that may be the higher level or some other may be for uh, p shell if you take uh, part may be the higher level and uh, group answer group is uh, in the higher level than part so you can get so um, now we will focus on the function so get entity that means we can get a single part or a single pid or any other single entity we can get from this function so first we will go to script editor okay going here and tools script script editor so here i am going to make a new python script um which is empty and i need to type import first of all import answer module from answer which is a higher module from answer i want to import all its modules so i i am putting a star so what it means is if you go to this function list window and if you click library and if you come to this uh, toolbar you can find answer batch mesh gui tk cad mesh session kinetics each are modules i am importing all the modules okay if you are uh, clear that you are going to use only the functions which are going to be used for gui creation then just import instead of star import gui tk then it will import only the functions which are required to generate uh, gui so but now i am going to import base because that itself will be enough for me to do the get entity function because get entity is in that uh, that module if you go to base and type get entity it will come list out so 
if you double click you can get the help by here so from answer i have import within import i wanna use get entity function so um, i am just clicking right click on that list and opening a bracket and closing it so that within that i can pass arguments and this whatever we see here in the synapses uh, this deck is a parameter type four parameters so while running this function in our ide we need to pass four arguments mm. so first it is deck and then so deck i need to define so constants dot nastron this means we are modeling for um, uh, sorry uh, we are getting connected with a model which is related to nastron solver if you go to answer so you can see you are in nastron so you are modeling uh, uh, you are making this ca model for nastron solver so uh, first i need to that i said which is the first argument and then um, its type the type of entity which i am going to call is a pid so i am passing p shell as a string so if you see uh, the second parameter the type should be a string so i am just passing a string and whereas first one is integer i will come to this later as of now i have put nastron solver using the keywords constants so i need to import base as well as constants constants instead of that we can just simply leave it as star so that we can use whatever mm, function in a different modules we can access it so p shell which is a string then element id what what is the id of the element which you are going to get so that we will get from our gui so leave as some space so after that we need location string so that one is optional so i am just going to give PID. and in that i want to collect motherboard sorry hard disk 4143 is its id so that optional one i am not passing it so this function a function means which will do some work so it takes some input that is uh, the arguments which we have given with respect to the arguments given it will perform some task and it has to return something that thing is here get entity function returns none when the entity is not found and a reference so it will leave us a reference so that reference i am storing it by um, pi uh, sorry property one is equal to so all the reference that this function gives will be stored under this uh, name 
so we can make use of this name at a anywhere so I'm wanna print that now so print just double click control C and control V so uh, if you see our model is open so I am just running this program so it is leaving the reference that uh, the id p shell is have type these are the reference values which the entity function returns in addition to that we can get so much details um, so we, we will go back to slide so now if you see if you have got an entity after that if you add a dot with an underscore and uh, if you type id then it will return answers id likewise this this is the same for all the remaining um, variables okay we'll focus now here so i'm just copying so print property one that is an entity so just this print does an uh, operation which returns sorry which prints 4143 so to get a clear view can simply add this kind of things since if you are a beginner it will be useful okay then likewise we can type so many things so, uh, first of all whatever you stored in a temporary variable um, you can find its type print type of and copy paste and if you now run so it is an entity so whenever you have an, an entity that may be that entity may have been seen uh, sorry stored in uh, some other name but if its type is an, an entity if you add uh, these keywords it will work out to return uh, this many uh, data related to that entity so we can check out print so it types the name also you can make it the property name and just add on space oh sorry put a comma no it comes good okay so this is about a get entity function so it returns none if there is no entity so i just put a random so if i now run it in the first itself when the first print uh, runs it returns none because there is no such uh, p shell present in the nastron deck uh, which is open in the answer gui so this is the information we need to get